folks, there's a lot of questions going on right now. Where am I? What is this backdrop? Do I have a game room again? We're going to talk about that in the very near future. But folks, holy shit. Holy shit, that Nintendo Direct. That was absolute insanity. We got so many new game announcements. We saw so much cool stuff. It was jam-packed. There was so much stuff to talk about. And no 3DS stuff. It was all Nintendo Switch stuff. And I am super stoked on what we just saw in this Nintendo Direct. I don't even want to do a long intro. I just want to talk about the awesome stuff that was in this Direct. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about this Nintendo Direct. Hey, RGT85. Hey, Sean. Oh my god, it's Stevie Richards! As usual, I like to start out with the things I did not like about the presentation and then get into the things that I did like about the presentation. The only thing I didn't really care for, honestly, was just sort of Box Boy. I thought Box Boy kind of looked a bit out of place, but it was interesting to see Box Boy because you might remember at the end of last week, we talked about some Nintendo Direct rumors, and all of the rumors pretty much came true that this guy had stated that we had talked about. So, hey, it makes me look good for making that video. But yeah, Box Boy, it was just kind of like, okay, whatever. I thought they talked about Fire Emblem a bit long. I was definitely very happy to see Fire Emblem. It is a bit disappointing that Fire Emblem has been delayed until summer of 2019. That was supposed to be a spring release. Now it's been delayed until summer. So I can see some people being upset by that, but I think the game itself looks absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to play it. But really, those were my only complaints. Everything else was just so awesome. Everything else was just so cool. Of course, one of the rumors that was talked about in the Nintendo Direct rumor video that we did last week was Super Mario Maker 2. And they came right out of the gate, started out the presentation with Super Mario Maker 2, showcasing a Super Mario World aesthetic that you can use. That includes hills, because hills were not in the original Super Mario Maker game. And a lot of people always ask me, what would you do to improve upon the original Super Mario Maker? Why wouldn't you just port it? And I'm like, because there's no hills in the game. And hills are a very important part of Mario levels. The interface, I think, looks a lot better as well. It's definitely more in tune with the Nintendo Switch. They're adding some new things that you can do in the game as well that they haven't quite talked about yet, but it will be coming out. Super Mario Maker 2 will be coming out June 2019, so we're getting it this year. It's going to be probably the hottest game of the summer, and I can't wait to play it. I'm not big on creating my own levels. I like to play other people's levels, but I was definitely very happy to see that. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 looks absolutely fantastic. Now, that game will be coming out in summer 2019. Of course, that is a Nintendo Switch only game. If you've never played the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, I would suggest you track them down. They came out on like the PS3, the Xbox 360, and the Wii. The PS3 and the Xbox 360 versions do look a bit better, but these games are really fun action RPGs where you can level up different Marvel characters. I really like the way this game looks. It's going to have four player online, so I'm definitely really looking forward to that as well. You might remember, very recently, I did a 15 must-own Nintendo Switch games video, and one of the games I talked about was Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I really love that game, so I'm very happy to see that they're adding in some paid DLC for the game. Would it have been better if it was free? Yeah, but I want to play some more Captain Toad. I think that game is just so creative and so unique, so the fact that they're adding in five new worlds and 18 new missions, I think that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to check out that stuff, and it looks like it will be coming um, today, actually. You'll be able to play some of the DLC, and then a Eventually, in March, you'll get some of the more DLC, but I thought that was really cool. We got Another big thing that I was really excited to see was Dragon Quest XI Definitive Edition for the Nintendo Switch. I actually never got around to playing Dragon Quest XI on the PS4, and that's a shame because I really enjoyed the Dragon Quest games. I really loved the Dragon Quest games back on the PS2, and I don't know, I just kind of like to play RPGs handheld, so it was great to finally see it confirmed for the West. We've got a release window of Fall 2019 in the West, so that's super awesome in my opinion. There adding in additional stuff. There's going to be additional story stuff that's exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version. There's dual audio. There's different orchestrated music. I think the game looks absolutely fantastic. That game was a very visually striking game, I felt, on the PS4. And I think the Nintendo Switch version of the game looks absolutely great. It's definitely a game that I'm going to pick up and check out because, I don't know, it just looks really cool and I've heard really good things about it. I know Spawn Wave beat it on the PS4, so I'm definitely looking forward to Dragon Quest XI. Great to see it confirmed for the West for the Switch. We also got some more Square Enix stuff, like Dragon Quest Builder two with a confirmation that's actually going to have online mode as well and that really makes me excited because i like that game i thought the original game was really fun and i think this is a great improvement on it 
Square Enix also showed off another RPG that's coming to us from the development team that did Lost Fear and I Am Setsuna. I can't really pronounce it. I believe it was called Anakaniki or something like that. I don't know. It looked pretty cool. Um, it definitely has that sort of retro aesthetic to it. It's not something that has highly polished as something like, of course, Dragon Quest XI. But those games, I think, were very suitable traditional JRPGs. So I'll be interested to see how this game turns out. That game will be releasing in summer 2019. I don't know if it's going to be a digital only game or if they're going to do a physical version of that game as well. But if you like games like I Am Setsuna, I think you'll like this game as well. It's done by the same team. So definitely something to keep your eye on. Now, if you watch my 15 must buy Nintendo Switch games video, you would know that one of the third party games was Starlink Battle for Atlas. I absolutely loved that game. I felt like it was a real Star Fox like adventure being able to play as Fox and everyone else. And now they're adding in additional Star Fox related content with Star Wolf's team. And now you'll be able to play as Peppy, Falco, and Slippy in these new modes as well. They're adding in some new content into the game as well. It's awesome to see this because that's exclusive Nintendo Switch stuff. You're not getting that Star Fox stuff on any other platform and that's what really made the game stand out to me. And considering the fact that it's like $30 everywhere or $40 everywhere nowadays, you really have no reason not to buy this game. It's honestly one of the most fun Star Fox experiences that I've ever had. I absolutely enjoyed that game. There was definitely some nitpicks I had about it, but all in all, it was a great game. It was a game I paid like 80 bucks for on day one. I have no regrets on it, and I'm very happy to see it getting additional content as well. Here's a weird one. Take Tetris and make it like Battle Royale and you get Tetris 99. Now this game is actually coming out today. By the time you watch this video, it is probably available on the Nintendo Switch eShop. It is actually a free game. It is a free download and you play Tetris with 99 people. Like it's 99 people playing Tetris and then you try to win. Like it looks absolutely bizarre. It looks absolutely crazy, but it's free and it looks really fun. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. And speaking of terms of free stuff, you're also getting free Damon X Machina levels that you can download today later on the Nintendo Switch eShop. You're also getting a Yoshi's Woolly World demo. So there's a ton of free stuff dropping on the Switch eShop tonight that I'm going to have to stay up all night and check out because I'm really looking forward to all of those games. Tetris 99 I think looks really cool. Free Damon X Machina stuff and free Yoshi stuff is definitely super awesome. So we're going to be checking out all that stuff. But yeah, head over to the Switch eShop and you can download all that stuff. Speaking of Switch eShop downloads, available today. Final Fantasy 9 is now available on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and it looks like Final Fantasy 7 will be coming out in March along with Chocobo's Dungeon. We got a little sizzle reel showcasing some third-party titles that were coming to the Nintendo Switch games like Mortal Kombat 11. Assassin's, 3, or Assassin's Creed 3, the remaster, is coming to the Nintendo Switch. I know a lot of people were concerned that that version of the game was not coming out because it was only announced for the PS4 and the Xbox One. Honestly, they should have done Black Flag. Assassin's Creed 4 was my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I absolutely love that game. I never really played Assassin's Creed 3, so depending on the price point, I might check it out on the Switch, pretty much just to see how it runs and stuff like that. But I definitely think it could be a cool game. It's just not the Assassin's Creed that I wanted, and I don't think a lot of people wanted, but it is nice to see it coming to the Switch. We also got two random game announcements that I never would have guessed would be coming to the Switch, and that is Dead by Daylight and Hellblade. Now, Hellblade is a very critically acclaimed game. It, of course, released on the Xbox One and the PS4. It seems like a really cool game. I believe it's available on Game Pass if you own an Xbox One, so I'll probably end up downloading that and skipping the Nintendo Switch version, but if you only have a Switch, I do hear very good things about the game. But Dead by Daylight is definitely kind of a head-scratcher to me. It's a game that is an online-only game, where it's sort of like Friday the 13th, um, where you basically have a kill on the map and you try to escape the map but I don't know I'm very curious to see how that works on the Nintendo Switch definitely sort of out of left field with both of those games but maybe I will check out Dead by Daylight but Hellblade if you got an Xbox One just play on Games Pass and then things just got absolutely insane absolutely insane they started showing this game that just looked amazing it looked absolutely I don't even know how to describe it really it just looked so cool like there's like explosions and big monsters and you're in the city and you're walking around and then you're destroying parts of the building and buildings are collapsing and there's like all this crazy stuff going on and I'm like what what is this game I need to know literally I was just saying holy shit the entire time of watching this and then they said it was a platinum games video a Hideki Kamiya game and I'm like Oh my god, what is this? Astral Chain. This now is one of my most hyped games of 2019 because this game just looks absolutely mind-blowingly great. Like, I cannot wait to get more information on this game. I cannot wait to play this game. It kind of looks like what Crackdown 3 maybe should have been. Ooh, I'm going to catch some heat in the comments for that, folks. But let's be honest, this game looked absolutely amazing. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, why did this not end the presentation? This game looks fantastic. This game is a must-own game. I don't even need to play it to know that it's a 
my stone game, just looking at it and looking how great it looks, I need to own this game. And then they played the song. And then you see, you see Link, and he's on his little boat. And you're like, holy shit, they're actually doing it. Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening is getting redone slightly for the Nintendo Switch and will be releasing as well. That's the big bomb that they ended it on. And the graphical style, I think, is going to rub some people the wrong way. I think some people might not like the way that Link looks. He kind of looks like a capsule toy or something like that. But honestly, Link's Awakening is such a great game. And it's a game that's really been lost to the sands of time because it never was re-released. It never came out on anything else. And unless you got it on an eShop or have it on the original Game Boy or Game Boy Color with Link's Awakening DX, you never got to experience this game. Obviously, they're going to put more content in it. It's probably not going to be a one-to-one -one replication. There's going to be some additional stuff in it as well. So, just a fantastic way to end it. Yes, there was no Metroid Prime Trilogy HD Collection. I'm never talking about that again because you know what? I don't care. Astral Chain is the game of 2019, folks. I need Astral Chain now. I want it now. I just want to like be like Cartman and like freeze myself when he was trying to get the Nintendo Wii and go into the future and then be able to play Astral Chain. But holy shit, that was a great Nintendo Direct. That was awesome. There were so many surprises, so much cool stuff, so much free stuff to check out via demos, via downloads, and of course, just all the cool stuff coming to the Switch. And we're just at the start of the year. Like, this is the start of the year, and we're already getting all these awesome announcements. So who knows what the rest of the year is going to bring, but I absolutely love that Direct. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the Direct. And yes, I am in my new place. So this is my new game room. We're going to do a game room tour soon. I have to get some new lights. I broke one of my lights, and I have a new TV coming in specifically for the game room. But yes, I'm definitely getting settled in. So thank you guys for all your kind messages and kind comments about moving. I'm definitely getting settled in. I'm definitely digging the new place. And the content is just going to start flowing once again, boys and gals, once again. But yeah, thanks for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, check out other videos on the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.